Canada's food loss and waste problem is one of the worst in the world. Although we have a population of 37 million, we have enough food to feed 52 million people. 58% of all food in Canada is lost or wasted. That is 35.5 million tons wasted every single year, or enough to feed everyone in Canada for five full months. And yet 5.6 million Canadians are food insecure, meaning they do not have the ability to access, purchase, and prepare healthy food. The problem doesn't end there. Food loss and waste poses a significant environmental threat. If food waste was a country, it would be the third largest emitter of greenhouse gases in the world. This is because food that ends up in landfill creates methane gas, which is 25 times more damaging to the environment than carbon dioxide. So why do we have so much waste? Food loss and waste occurs throughout the food supply chain, from production to consumption. Let's look at some examples. In production, Fruit rots under trees due to labor shortages. Low prices make it uneconomical for farmers to harvest their product. Thousands of acres of produce are plowed back into the dirt due to canceled orders. In the fishing industry, fish are caught, then tossed back into the water if they don't match the quota. Next, food goes to the processing and manufacturing stage, where we see further issues. Produce that doesn't meet the exact size, color, shape, or appearance is rejected. Suppliers prepare far more product than they need for fear of shorting customers, and it's at this stage that best before dates are put on products. Lack of regulation on how these dates are set causes unthinkable amounts of food to be wasted. The production, processing, and manufacturing stages are where the most waste occurs. 71% of all food waste happens somewhere in these stages. Ouch! From here, food goes on to distribution, and then it is sold at a retailer or as a meal in a hotel, restaurant, or institution. Let's take a look at these. At the retail level, businesses have built waste into their business model. Instead of just buying what they know they will sell, Retailers keep the shelves full of beautiful, fresh product, knowing that some of it will go to waste. Shoppers avoid buying items when shelves aren't full. Best before dates are a major source of food waste here, as consumers look for items with dates as far out as possible, leaving the other items to be wasted. At hotels, restaurants, and institutions such as schools, prisons, and hospitals, Plates are filled to create the feeling of abundance, but are larger portion sizes than people can eat. Some restaurants provide over a pound more food per meal than diners can consume. In hospitals, 19% of the food served goes back to the garbage. On top of portion size, food is wasted from poor planning or inventory management. Finally, food makes it to people's homes all across Canada. Tragically, instead of getting eaten, too much of that food ends up in the garbage. Of the overall total food waste, 14% comes from the home. Perfectly good food is thrown out because it is past the best before date. Meals get pushed to the back of the fridge only to be forgotten. And without a good meal plan that uses up the delicate foods first, fresh product like meat, produce, and dairy rot. Canadians waste $1,766 of food per household every year. While there are many issues throughout the supply chain that lead to waste, there are as many solutions. We all have a part to play. We need to rethink how we view food waste, not as a necessary evil, but as an avoidable issue. Together, we can get this good food to people in our communities, instead of sending it to a landfill, creating a greener, brighter tomorrow.